Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers shrub honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is actually a couple of different species. Typically, as with most invasives, they occur in disturbed areas. Unfortunately, honeysuckle is one of the invasives that can occur under a closed canopy. So it's not just along the edges, it can get uh, into the interior of the forest. You are looking at one of the invasive shrub honeysuckles. They have white flowers, but they can also have more of a yellowish orange flower, and the flowers can also be pink. This one's sort of a, a medium size, but they can get to be 10 or even 15 feet high and have a much wider spread than this. A really important feature to identify them is actually their twig. And if you look at the inside of the twig, you can see it's hollow inside. They produce red berries in the fall. They're green right now, but they will be red later in the season and maybe about a quarter inch across. And the honeysuckle doesn't always flower in the shade, so sometimes you need to go by the other features, like making sure the stems are hollow. A really important feature for this honeysuckle is that they have leaves that are always grow opposite each other on the stem and this uh, oval shape of the leaves. The detrimental impacts of the non-native shrub honeysuckles are they displace native species. The honeysuckles also don't provide as good a habitat for wildlife. The nesting material isn't as good for birds. The berries, although they are eaten, are apparently not as nutritious as most of the berries of native species. And they form these dense, almost impenetrable thickets that are a real pain to get through. So the smaller plants, you can attempt to dig them up or yank them out. There's also a piece of equipment called a weed wrench, and you can actually remove some pretty big trees doing that. The other method is you can just cut them back and then cover the stumps with like a tarp or heavy plastic to keep them from regrowing. And then lastly, and I don't recommend this for the homeowner, is if there's a really dense thicket covering a large area, you almost have to resort to herbicides, and that's probably best left to a professional. The way to prevent it, you just gotta keep your eyes open for small seedlings coming up, and that's the time to get them. For more information about shrub honeysuckle, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.